Saturday morning rides, thank God I'm alive. First piece of business to the cash, I'm on time. Second piece of business, grab my drive, pick a ride. Deadline coming, long woods, we on top. Yeah, bitch, that's what you get. Telling me I can't take no cheddar biscuits home. That's why I took all y'all shit. Me and my kids gonna be eating cheddar biscuits for the next three days. Mm. Now go walk by my table, bitch. release form and I'm gonna need a copy of that to give to Garrett the supervisor uh, your company should have already sent you here with one but um, well um, it's okay I'll go get you one I'll, I just can't let you inside until we have that filled out name signature in the day capiche okay, I hope you brought a pen at least uh, the forms are all the way up on the ninth floor so it's gonna take me a minute uh, <laughs> you can go ahead and wait over there by the gazebo oh okay great great okay then She's never seen you before. My motherfucking boss ain't shit. Ain't shit. This motherfucking job ain't shit. Ain't shit. Oh fuck, I ain't feeling this shit. I ain't feeling this shit. Oh god, but I really should quit. Before I even clock in, I'ma kick over his trash bin. I'm fucking with his mouth, so I tried to lock the pin out. Don't know why he like to test me. I'm still waving late fees. And fuck quality, give a damn what they rate me. My boss think he the smartest in the room, but he a nitwit. Say he got your back soon as you leave, he talking slick shit. Standing by my shoulder, watching over me like this. His wife be in my inbox, asking me for dick pics. Today is payday, and I plan on fucking out. Coming late from a break doing work like a slow. Hey Lance, we'll wrap later, brother. Month almost over. Need one more payment to hit bonus. Yeah, nigga, what? You buy weed, liquor, and HBO Max for the next month. That's not a touchdown, bro. Yeah, it is. Looking right at it. Nah. Come on, dog. Link up that credit card, my G. Man, you lean your whole finger forward. You lean your whole finger backwards. Whatever, yo. Yeah, whatever. You better. Yo, check it out. <laughs> Look at this nigga trying to be Tyson better. <laughs> Man, y'all play too much. Man, you ain't getting a bag bottle of underwear. You might as well open your eyes and put your dockers back on. I'm a fitness instructor, bitch. Maybe if you didn't spend all of your money on weed and liquor, I could put your frail ass on a weight training program. Can't get this shit off my screen. Uh, yeah, I'm trying. It seems like something's up with my computer. It seems frozen or something. Okay. Let's get IT remote into your computer and get you all fixed up, Jim. No, no. I don't need IT. Uh, let me try to reboot my computer first. You're holding up my call key, buddy. Let's get moving. Hey. <laughs> Gotta remember that. Lock your screen next time, bro. Why y'all gotta act like we still in middle school or something, bro? Grow the fuck up. Huh? I didn't do it. It was so, them. You was a part of it. A part of what? You saw them messing with my desk, dog. What? Dog. I was sitting right here the whole time. What I look like? The computer police? Lock your screen next time. This nigga all this titties up. Eat a dick. That's why 10 years from now, both of you bums will still be working here. 10 years from now, this place won't be around anymore, and you'll probably still be trying to get a promotion. Hello, may I speak with Cooper Meadows? Hi, sir, this is he. Good afternoon, my name is Lance from Eros Financial. I'm calling today because you have a 
cash due balance of $4,456.89 on your student loan. It seems you haven't made a payment in about four months. What seems to be the reason for the delinquency today? Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm sorry. My dad switched bank accounts a few months back and I completely forgot to update the auto draft. That's okay. We all make mistakes. Let's go ahead and get a check set up by phone today. Sure thing. Let me just get my dad's checkbook. No problem. <phone rings> Mr. Meadows, while we're waiting on that, could you go ahead and verify your address for me? Sure thing. 2929 Queens Harbor Boulevard, Jacksonville, Florida, 32225. Awesome. And your place of employment? The Staccato Taco. And your job title? Uh, well, I guess you could say I work in sales and marketing. Okay, you're a salesperson. Can we go ahead and get that payment? Well, not exactly. You see, I work for my dad at his vegan taco stand, one of his several businesses. I dress up like a staccato musical note and dance on the sidewalk to advertise the business. It's a surprisingly rewarding job. Oh, really? Yes. To connect with another human being through performative dance is a feeling unparalleled, Lance. I'm sure it is. Let's go ahead and get that new routing number now. I originally majored in performative arts because I wanted to pursue my passion of theatrical dance. But then my girlfriend died and it killed my passion for everything, really. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Meadows. Can She was a missionary trying to reach an uncontacted tribe in the Amazon rainforest. Behold, noble people of the forest. I bring to you tidings and blessings in Jesus' name. Poison arrow frog dart from a blowgun right to the jugular. She died before she hit the ground. Wow. I changed my major and ended up getting a degree in Near Eastern Studies because I got into Zoroastrianism while trying to cope with my loss. But I was planning on going to the Iranian plateau to live a monastic life in unison with nature. But then I got to the airport and they told me that I couldn't bring my cat due to COVID restrictions. And I said, I just can't do this. So I've decided to focus all my energy into my new passion of performative dance. Okay, Mr. Meadows, we really need to go ahead and get a payment set up so you don't accrue any more late fees, okay? When I start doing a little medley of the Cabbage Patch, the Snake, the Roger Rabbit, and the Running Man, man, the black people just love it. Sounds like you're living your dreams, Mr. Meadows. Are you ready to go ahead and make that payment now? Was that sarcasm I detected? No, not at all, sir, not at all. I just wanna make sure that we go ahead and get you caught up with your payments so that you don't have to get any more calls like this from guys like me. Well, you insulted me, Lance. You ever tried pop locking in 100 degree weather in a styrofoam suit for eight hours straight just to get that one smile that lets you know you're not alone in the world? I can't say that I have. No, you don't know about that life. All you do is take from people while denigrating them. Look, I'm sorry if I offended you, sir. I certainly didn't mean to. Now, can we please get your new routing number so we can go ahead and take care of this payment today? So you don't have to get any more calls from guys like me? Yeah, I'm gonna wait on the next person to call and give them my payment information. Assuming they're a human being with a soul, unlike you. You're a horrible person, Lance. You destroy light and all that is good. You triggered my anxiety, and now I must go to the guest house to decompress and say an Avastan prayer to Ahura Mazda. Try not to ruin anyone else's day just because you have a job that should come with a suicide risk warning, asshole. Oh! Now see, why the fuck did he have to go and do that? Don't do it, bro. In the break room, eating 30 minutes, better finish fast. See in the hallway, watching my reflection in the glass. Hit the circuit breaker when I walk past the grid of ass. Turn off the lights to his office, tell he been to grass. My motherfucking boss ain't shit. This motherfucking job ain't shit. Woke up, I ain't feeling this shit. Called out, but I knew this shit quit. My motherfucking boss ain't shit. This motherfucking job ain't shit. Ain't shit. Woke up, I ain't feeling this shit. I ain't feeling.
it in. Oh, bop, but I really should quit. They say go to HR like they'll do me a favor. The dude who run HR, that's his next door neighbor. HOA board members go golfing together. 40 years ago, they'd have burned crosses together. Man, he be saying dumb shit to fuck with people's brains. Yeah. That for rebel in the break room, I poured it down the drain. Man, why I'm still coming to this shitty ass job. Hope they catch him when he's closing and they get his ass raw. I try to stick the stock.